Tony D, if you want. All right, this is Andrew. I'm here with Tony D from Superfrat, Silent Devil Comics. He has officially inducted me into the Superfrat fraternity. I am now Brother Bebo because I wear a Superman shirt and Brother Superman and Brother Cape and Brother Kryptonite and Brother everything else that would be good with Superman besides Bebo the Super Monkey was already taken. So, yeah, it, it, it sucks. I showed up only an hour late, and now I can't get in. I don't know. Uh, it's a shame. Well, I mean, we did spend all of 2006 on a pledge drive, so... There you go. It makes we, sense. We have over 2,000 brothers at this point, so... Really? The names are kind of... You're lucky to get Bebo, quite frankly. Probably, because yeah. I could have ended up, uh, you know, named after Supergirl's horse. Yeah, and we're starting, to, we're starting to do a lot of, you know, retakes. We have, like, ten brother scooters at this point. <laughs> uh, you know, ten brother buttons and... Mm brother fire truck i don't know why we have so many fire trucks but we do uh, we know i don't know so tell us a little bit about super frat what, super what's frat about? super frat is based after the antics of lambda Simero fraternity on the campus of risemore university and it's uh the web comics a little bit like animal house meets the justice league uh basically you have a, a fraternity uh, one night during a kegger they send they sent one of the brothers out to make a beer run and a meteor hit the frat house and uh, obliterated it, and the next morning it grew back, and the brothers were all alive, and they all had superpowers, Very except cool. the one who went on the beer run. Ah. And his name is Norm. He doesn't have any powers. See, get Obviously. it? Norm. He's Norm. Norm. Yeah. So, I mean, how long has it been going on? It's been going on... Uh, I've been doing it for about two years now. And it was basically a webcomic for that for a while? Yeah, we, uh, me and Chris Moreno, uh, who's the illustrator, we've been working together a long time. Uh, we started on a book called The Travelers, which was published by Kenzer and Company. And we would go to conventions, and we saw the guys from Penny Arcade, and we saw that they would go home, instead of with their boxes of comics, they would go home with bags of money. And I said to Chris, hey, Chris, wouldn't it be cool if we went home with bags of money? That's always good. <laughs> and he said, yeah. I said, well, let's do what those guys do. So uh, we started looking into web comics, and uh, that's how we got into it. So uh, now we're, I'm a big proponent for, of web comics now. Uh, I see it as the future of the medium. You can do a lot with it. Uh, these websites are very dynamic. They have bios and games and all kinds of fun stuff to do that it's really interactive with your fans. And usually with web comics, there's you know little overhead. It's just a guy writing, a guy drawing, and you know paying for a hosting bill every month. And hopefully you get some fans, you get an audience. Exactly. So. Well, you, it's hard not to get fans on the internet. The internet is just so big. There's so many millions and millions of people on the internet. And, uh, you know, we have fans all over the world now with Super Frat. Whereas in the print comics, we were always struggling, going to conventions, trying to get people to read it. And we had a website for our comics, but the comics weren't on there. So people might come to the website, but then they'd go, well, maybe I'll get the comic someday. Whereas on the web comics, they're getting the comic, they're getting the product. Uh, and then when we put out the reprints and we put new stuff in it, they already know it's sort of a tested thing for them. They know what they can expect if they are finally going to pay for it. And they don't feel bad about paying for it. Because, hey, hey, let's face it, they've been getting a free ride all that time. Exactly. So it's time they pay, you know. It's about time they, uh, you know, put some food in your stomachs and exactly. put it in your pocket. Exactly. Exactly. So this is the first issue? This is the first collected edition, oh. yep. And uh, it's called... Uh, Spring break, rush week, because you know rush week in college. That's like the Big early, week. early in the early in the semester. Uh -huh. And uh, in April, we're going to come out with Super Frat, the Spring Break collection, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. We like to do uh, a special strip for Spring Break every year, so we're working on that. And uh, the book, uh, we're going to have brand new story in that, and all kinds of new surprises. And uh, we always put little extras in the comic too, like in um, the rush week. We had uh, letters from the dean. Uh, at first, Dean Calfinch, who's the dean of Risemore, uh, was really excited about doing the webcomic, but he didn't really understand what webcomics were, and he didn't understand that we could do whatever we wanted. And so he sort of signed the contract with us a little quickly. And, um, so you actually with, got a real dean to sign up. Yeah, and, and he didn't really, image. he didn't read the contract very well because he he thought it would be cool to have a webcomic to improve the college's image and then of course we, a couple of years later he sent us another letter which was very angry where he threatened to sue us and we got into like a lot of a lot of legal stuff with it but you know he signed a contract he so did sign a contract we're, we're good to go it's always important to read your contracts yeah so uh yeah i mean basically we've been having a lot of fun with the comic we we have we've met tons of brothers and uh it's really sort of a community of fans that we're building very cool well, I'm honored to be a brother, 
And uh, I guess that's it. So I'm Brother Bebo, and we're done with Tony. See you at the next kegger, brother. There you go.